this is a new mechanism that we've embarked upon. Um, you guys may be familiar with some of our STRIDE programs and all of us programs that we've used uh, other um, transactions to fund. Um, it's not a grant, it's not a cooperative agreement, and it's not a contract. Okay, Michelle, if it's not any of that, what is it? Well, I will say that um, it is a mechanism that provides a lot of flexibility to both the agency as well as to the recipients. It really is a very interesting mechanism. Um, we are using it uh, a lot more broadly across the enterprise now. Um, Dr. Collins has um, been given a broader authority by Congress to use this mechanism. Um, it's a mechanism where you will uh, you'll see the program design in a very different, unique way. And, and, and honestly, there's no standard. Each program has designed its own program the way they want to implement the science in very different ways. You have some that stick very closely to the grant feel. You have some that stick closely to the contracts feel. And then you have some that just really have maximized the flexibility within this um, awarding instrument. Um, you're able to negotiate the terms and conditions. Um, you're able to spur innovation. It's kind of one of those uh, mechanisms where you get in and get out. You don't necessarily see them as five-year, four-year, five-year projects. Typically, they're your one- to three-year projects, maybe three years. Um, but the other side to that is the other transactions. If the project is not going in the way that the design has identified in the middle of the uh, design, you can turn and do something much different than what where you started. doesn't require a lot of that prior approval. It requires a lot of negotiations with the program officials. Um, the dollars can ebb and flow. If you know you're doing a, a, a study in one area, not getting the, the quick hit that you need in that area, they'll take that money and move it into another area. And it's just a really interesting program. And so I encourage you guys to be on the lookout for the opportunities. We have some opportunities that will be coming available. Um, and so maybe just kind of reading the funding opportunity announcement to familiarize yourself with it would be a great thing. Um, but our office has taken a, a very interesting approach. Um, this kind of fell in our laps. Um, and I think it's been a I would say it's been a really neat opportunity for us to just kind of develop the program um, policies. And, you know, even so folks would say, oh, so, you know, does the NIH grants policy statement apply? Nope. Do the, does the 45 CFR Part 75 grant regulations apply? Nope. Does Title II apply? Um, Title II CFR 200? Nope. Um, the only thing that does apply are the program policies and the way the program um, officials design them. Uh, we have to have special author authorization to issue these from Congress, and we've gotten that. The way in which you use your cost principles, we give you guidance, but we don't necessarily give you what's allowable and what's unallowable because it depends on the program. One program might allow something, the other program might not. So it's really very unique and very tailored.